Now that T-Mobile has acquired Sprint, they are rebranding themselves the new T-Mobile. So does the new T-Mobile come with any coverage benefits? Yes, they sure do, kind of. Sprint's coverage does offer some benefit to T-Mobile's vast coverage, but the majority of people on T-Mobile won't really notice the bigger network unless you're in a few select cities and states. If you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and turn on those notifications. I come out with new videos every Wednesday and Friday. Now, this video is only going over the new T-Mobile's 4G coverage. And to access all this new coverage, you're going to need a phone that is compatible with both networks. Generally, newer phones have the technology built in to work with both networks. Older phones earlier than 2017 don't. Now, when it comes to 5G, the jury is still out on the new T-Mobile's network and what that will look like with Sprint's added 5G bands. So don't beat me up in the comments because I'm not going over that. And I'm not showing 3G because 3G frustrates me almost more than anything in the world right now. And when I use 3G on my phone, when it resorts to that, I don't even attempt to use it. And if you care about 3G, and bless your heart. Well, let's jump into the numbers now. Pre-merge, T-Mobile had 2.25 million square miles of coverage in the United States. Sprint has 1 million square miles of coverage. Now, what an average person might do is add up both those numbers and say, now the new T-Mobile has 3 point something million square miles of coverage in the United States. But I'm going to let you in on a little secret you're watching my channel so we're above average we are better than the rest too much okay i'll tone it down a little bit to get the new t-mobile coverage you can't just add the two together because t-mobile and sprint have overlapping coverage in many places so what my super researcher ultimate numbers guy mike did was figure out where sprint added to t-mobile's coverage at Whistleout, we found that of Sprint's 1 million square miles of coverage, there's only 41,000 square miles of coverage added to the new T-Mobile network, which means T-Mobile's new coverage is only 2.29 million square miles, and that means Sprint makes up 1.8% of the new T-Mobile coverage. Now, this is amazing for Sprint customers because when you roam outside of Sprint LTE coverage, you will automatically switch to T-Mobile's LTE network, if you have a compatible phone, that is. Now, Sprint coverage more than doubles with their deal to merge with T-Mobile. Now, if you're on T-Mobile, there's not going to be much of a difference for you or if you're thinking about switching from Verizon or AT&T to T-Mobile because of an increased coverage or increased network, well, probably not worth it for that reason. Now, in terms of what that coverage looks like in America, T-Mobile covers 63.4% of the US, where before it was 62.3%. Now, Sprint gives the new T-Mobile 1% more coverage in the United States. And to put that in perspective, that extra 1% and 41,000 square miles of coverage is about the same size as Tennessee. Now, if I could do impressions, which I can't, I'd make a joke about the top 1%. 1%. So in what states does this additional 1%. coverage fall? Let's take a look. First, Hawaii, you are fully loaded with T-Mobile coverage. The added sprint coverage basically covers all of the islands. Now, looking at this map, T-Mobile is in pink and Sprint is in blue because yellow didn't give us enough of a contrast. Now, let's head on over to the mainland. Sprint in blue gives Mississippi nearly 100% full LTE 4G coverage, along with some much needed coverage in the Virginias. Now, Sprint gives the lonely state of Nebraska a little bit of new T-Mobile coverage. And lastly, the very northwest corner of Washington State gets a little bump in coverage as well. Now, if you're directly north or south of Nebraska and almost anywhere east of the Cornhusker State, there is solid new T-Mobile coverage. If you go west of Nebraska, however, things start to get a little dicey for new T-Mobile customers. You can see that their coverage is not as vast as the East Coast. 
To check if you have solid T-Mobile coverage in your area, check out our coverage checker at whistleout.com. Just type in your address, click search, and go to the map in the top right-hand corner, and you'll see whether or not you're covered. Let me know what you think of the new T-Mobile coverage. Is the 1% additional coverage worth the $26 billion price tag T-Mobile paid to acquire Sprint? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Sherry with Whistleout TV.